Hello, I'm John Noble, and this is TO Markets. Uh, today, we're going to uh, do an introduction into the stochastic oscillator. Very exciting. Before we get into it, um, let's go through the legal disclaimer. And uh, at this point, it's advisable that you um, uh, perhaps pause the video and read through the disclaimer so that you understand. Okay, I'm John Noble. I'm a professional um, uh, a trader and an, an investor, and I'm sharing with you uh, my experiences and some knowledge that I've acquired over 21 years. I started my career uh, in New York as a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley. I qualified to manage uh, futures funds, commodity trading, operate commodity pools by the U.S. National Futures Association. I certified as a portfolio manager and investment advisor um, by the Cyprus Ministry of Finance. A stochastic indicator um, is a it's an oscillator and what that means is it oscillates means it goes between an extreme low to an extreme high and it helps us measure that where today's price had closed relative to the closing prices or values that is um, it, over a particular period so um, it's a very popular um, uh, indicator, which is used um, throughout technical analysis in various forms, such as RSI. And again, it's a mom it's a momentum um, indicator. So it's displayed as two lines. There's a main line called the percentage K and a second line called percentage D. Um, percentage D is a moving average of percentage K. Don't worry, we're going to get more into it and things will become a little clearer as we go through the um, uh, uh, the the current slides so um, it does produce um, a buy and sell signals as well as it gives warnings or a signal or an alert that a trend may be about to end so it's it's a it's a tool which is used that could help us um, uh, identify not only a buy and sell signals but also when a trend is stalling or about to reverse or a new trend is going to be uh, about to begin so uh, let's get into it here. So, so the theory behind this indicator is that prices um, uh, tend to close near the upper end of a trading range in an in, in an upper in, in an uptrend. So let's let's go to our drawing tools here and let's look at say this this uptrend that's here. So uh, what is the theory saying? The theory is saying that prices here are prices tend to close higher in an uptrend or near its high in an uptrend fair enough and in a downtrend the opposite that prices will be closing closer to its bottom or its lows so this the stochastic oscillator which is shown below price it it acts as a smoothing device let's put this that's generating signals here we can see top on prices top on the stochastic oscillator we'll get into the more and, and on how to read this in a minute so as the trend matures the tendency for prices to close away from the high of the session becomes more pronounced so in a downward were, um, move this would um, this would hold true as the opposite so let's let's get into this because at this point it's still probably not that clear to somebody who's new to the stochastic oscillator but we're, we're going to smooth it out for you so the stochastic indicator um uh, is can be found on the mt4 under indicators oscillators because it is an oscillator it's not a trend fall it's it's an oscillator and you have stochastic oscillator so once you you find that on your mt4 it will come up as such. Let's focus on this area. Here we can see price. Here we can see our stochastic indicator. And it ranges from 0 to 100%. So this would be 0, and then this would be 100%. So, and it's giving a signal similar to the RSI where buy signals below 20 and sell signals above 80 but there are some rules here it's not just because as um, as soon as the uh, the stochastic indicator is is below 
uh, 20 or above 80, does that mean that we need to rush into the market or buy and sell? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. This works by confirmation. We need to see here, and we're going to repeat this a few times. This is the confirmation here. You have prices above and below. On that second break is where we get a confirmation. And again, you can see it down here. So you wouldn't be selling on the break or buying on the break. You'd be below. You'd be buying on the break above. So a reading of zero shows that prices closed at the lowest level during a preceding time period. Let's say in this it's daily. And a reading of 100% uh, shows prices closed at its highest price during a particular period. So we have percentage K, which in our example, we're going to show 10 periods. So percentage K is a number of time periods. So it could be 10 hours or 10 days or 10 weeks or 10 months, whatever you put here. Um, a percentage K slowing periods, which will be here, where one would be fast, three would be slow. And then your percentage D so it's a bit clearer, you have your percentage D, which is a moving average of percentage K. So it, let's say today's close, it's my, it's the calculation is as follows. It's the today's close minus the lowest in percentage K's periods. So if we're looking at 10 days, we're looking for today's close and then going back 10 periods to see what the lowest percentage K is, um, then we're dividing that by the highest price in whatever time periods we're looking at, um, minus the lowest price, and then we times that by 100. Complicated enough? Um, well, if you were using pen and paper and doing this manually, yes. But if you were, um, if if you're relying on the software or or the um, uh, the processing ability of your computer and the MT4 platform, you don't have to worry about that because these calculations are done for you. So, an example would be like, let's say if um, today's close is is 10. Uh, let's say it's 10 dollars or 10 euros. The lowest close in the past 10 days is seven the highest in 10 days is 12 so and so we would take percentage k minus uh, um, equals 10 minus 7 which gives us a number of 3 divided by 5 which is the high and the low gives us 5 times 100 this would give us a percentage k reading of 60 okay let's do that again so here we have percentage K period is 10. So this is 10 days or 10 candles. The lowest close in 10 days is 7. That means that in the lowest price in the last 10 days was 7. The highest price in 10 days was 12. And the lowest, 10. So percentage K equals 10 minus 7. So the highest price, or well, today's close was 10 minus the lowest, 7, gives us 3. Uh, and then you have the highest price of 12 minus 7, gives us 5. So we take 3 divided by 5 times 100, gives us 60. So that's the formula behind um, the math or the calculations that's that's being done whenever you load a stochastic indicator on your MT4 platform. Again, it's not something you need to know. The calculations are done uh, automatically, but um, it, it's it, it's to understand an indicator and how it works um, uh, and, and its signals. It's better to have a clear understanding of the uh, of of the calculation behind it. So. Let, let's put a bottom line to this and make it simple. So the interpretation is we're buying when percentage K um, falls below percentage D 
and then rises above 20. So, where's our buy? Our buys are going to come here. You're going to get an alert. This is 20. You're going to get an alert when the percentage K falls below 20. You're not going to do anything, but your buy signal will come when price breaks back above 20. So you're going to get an alert, and then you're going to get your signal. Again here, you're going to get your alert, then you're going to get your signal. Alert, and then you're going to get your signal. Sell, it's going to be the same. You're going to get your alert, then there's your selling signal, and you can see prices here. You have around here is where we got our alert, and then we got our sell signal up here. And again, we got an alert, we got a sell, there's a bit of a whipsaw in there, and then up here again, you're getting alert, and then you're going to have to wait a while until you get another sell signal here. buys so a buy is when percentage k percentage d fall below 20 and then rise above 20 so again let's repeat it we're going to focus on this area for the buys you're going to get an alert and then you're going to get your buy signal and then you can see the reaction on price here buy when percentage K rises above percentage D. So another one is where we can see a cross. You can see percentage D, percentage K, and you're going to get a cross. When the lighter blue line here, this is going to be our percentage K, percentage D. When you get that cross here, that's going to give us another signal. sell signal is going to be the opposite here we're going to see our warning and then the actual signal and it's very nice to see how that works this is the warning this was our signal and then this was price again you got multiple sell signals here because now we have also the cross you can see on percentage D crosses below percentage K we get another signal and another signal and it looks like where we are now is probably well, not yet confirmed, but perhaps another signal. So it's very nice in a, in, in a situation like this, a trader might be looking to add to their sell positions or add to their buy positions. So let's say if we're here, just backing it up a second, you get a signal here to buy. So you might add to your position. You get another signal, you buy some more. Another cross, you buy again you buy again so then you you could have multiple buys and participate and compound your position as the trend builds up the same can be done for the downside here you're gonna get a signal 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 and you can participate compound that position to the downside to get the most out of the move divergences is another thing to use stochastic oscillators for divergence between the um, stochastic oscillator and price uh, resolve when prices rally so what does this mean it means 
we're looking at the oscillator here, we're looking, we can see that we're getting higher bottoms. Price isn't doing much, it's relatively flat. This should give us a warning that prices are trying to advance higher. And then at the same time, you can see that you have prices divergence where you had prices falling here and you had the st stochastic oscillator rising and then we had that very nice breakout so the looking for divergences is where we can get a very nice breakouts right across this level here you can see how nice prices touched 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 and then broke out and then you get that massive move so uh, divergences very very powerful and um, the stochastic indicator could help us spot these divergences in price so the conclusion the stochastic indicator is a momentum indicator that attempts to measure the points in a rising and falling trend buy sell signals are generated on crosses and look for divergences for signs of breakouts or a trend reversal. Questions on Stochastic? Contact TO Markets to find out more. Thank you.